Hi everyone, I'm Becky Liner, JMI's Executive Vice President and the Director of our Center for American Ideals. We all at JMI hope you and your families are staying safe and healthy during this time. And we're glad you're joining us for Policy Goes Viral. Uh, today we're taking a little bit different approach and we're talking to one of our interns, uh, Tyler Grimes, and let him tell us a, a little bit about his experience and uh, what it's like to be a college student and have your year interrupted. So uh, Tyler's been intern with, interning with us for two semesters and um, he's been my intern for two semesters. So we know each other pretty well. So we're just gonna jump on in. Tyler, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and what you were doing prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. Hi, so um, like Becky said, I was an intern with JMI for the past two semesters. So we were doing a lot of work with the Campus Reps program and civics education. Um, with everything going on now, we kind of shifted to looking towards the summer and next year. Um, I'm also a student at Florida State University graduating in August with a finance degree. And so that's also kind of um, been put on hold a little bit. And so um, that's what I've been doing. Tyler, how did you find out that, um, you know, what was going on with the university? How did you find out that classes were going online and, and kind of walk us through that, that timeline right before spring break? Yeah, so the, the last, really the week before spring break, the Monday, um, rumors started to fly around that we were going online and I, um, I wasn't too sure. There was no confirmed anything from uh, President Thrasher or any of the deans. Um, a lot of the professors said it wasn't true. And then come, I think it was Wednesday or Thursday, the uh, pr President Thrasher and the deans put out a joint statement saying that we would be going online for um, the two weeks following spring break because they knew everyone, a lot of the students would be traveling home to infected areas and be coming back to Tallahassee. Yeah, yeah. So did it change your spring break plans? No, I was planning on just going home for spring break this year. Uh, I hadn't set any vacation plans. I knew some friends that did that uh, unfortunately had to cancel their plans, but I was just going to go home for the week anyways. That's a good boy. <laughs> I'm glad that's what we're doing. So um, Tyler, expand, we, we kind of touched on it, but expand a little bit about how the measures taken by the university, by um, your county, um, tell us, you know, where you are and what's going on, but how, how the measures taken by um, the university, the county, or the city where you are, the state, and even the, the federal measures that have been taken, how have those impacted you as a college student? Yeah, so first and foremost, obviously, the Florida State going fully online for the rest of the spring semester, and then also the summer semester, where I'll be finishing up my degree. Um, that's all online now, so I'll be home for the remainder. So at the beginning, it was, um, I like to have things planned and it kind of threw everything up in the air. And so, um, but Florida State's been really, uh, really good about getting the message out, communicating what's expected and how to do everything. So I haven't really missed a beat there with classwork and everything. Um, and I live in Pasco County, which is just north of Tampa. Uh -huh. And we, everything's kind of shut down now. Uh, the restaurants are all takeout. Um, the gyms are closed. They just closed the parks around us. And so it's kind of, um, <clears throat> we're kind of on lockdown here. <laughs> um, yeah. Thankfully, my parents are still able to work. Um, they work in small offices. And so you can keep the six foot barrier. Um, so that's been good. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how it's affected me, um, just kind of having to stay in the house and, and keep everything clean. Yeah, and have you been in touch with any of your friends from school? Yeah, yeah, I've been in touch with a few, um, and they're kind of, most of them live around me, so we're kind of all in the same boat, having to stay around, and unfortunately, you're, you, you kind of don't, you want to hang out with them, but you don't because you kind of want to yeah. keep that social distance and yeah. not, not spread. Yeah, yeah. So how do you think your generation, um, Generation Z, uh, mm -hmm. has responded to uh, COVID-19? 
Yeah, so I think it's been kind of mixed. Um, I know, you know, a lot of my friends and a lot of people I talked to were uh, worried about it even before spring break and before it kind of blew up a little bit and were kind of, you know, washing their hands and doing the things you're supposed to do. But then I think a lot of kids in my generation uh, didn't take it as seriously. And I know a lot of people still went on cruises uh, over spring break. And I mean, you could have seen Clearwater Beach during spring break and the governor had to step in and basically say Florida's shut down to tourists. Um, they closed Clearwater Beach. And so I think it's been a little bit of a mixed um, reaction from my generation. But yeah. I think it is good to see that some kids my age are taking it extremely seriously. Yeah, I, that's kind of been our impression too. Um, do you know anybody personally that's been affected by by the virus? No, thankfully I don't. I don't know anyone that's been affected personally. Good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. So as we move forward, because we will move forward, and this will eventually um, end. What are your concerns, um, you know, for yourself, for your family, for your future as we move past the, the pandemic? Mm -hmm. Personally, I don't have too many worries. I guess the, the job market in, you know, six months, we don't know what that's going to look like. So that's, you know, right. getting out of college, that'll be um, interesting and a little worrisome. But um, financially, we, you know, I don't think me or my family would be impacted too too heavily with this um you know kind of on the the macro scale it, i'm kind of um now that we have the guidelines in place through the end of april it seems like we won't be rolling them back too early which yeah. was kind of my worry maybe a week ago and so now it's really my um once we get it under wraps and have it start to contain and if the peak goes down um the economic outlook is really uh, going to be interesting, and I'm not sure we've seen the uh, the end of it or what it's really going to look like yet. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today. I miss you, and uh, <laughs> miss you too. thank you everybody for joining us as, as we are all uh, finding our way through this particular uh, time in our, in our nation, and uh, we hope you'll join us again. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So, so I have yoga pants on. Do you have, what do you have on? Shorts? I, I have, yeah, I have gym shorts on. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, it's, everybody I've been seeing being interviewed on TV, they're like, yeah, up here, all business. Down here, I got on my pajama pants. Yeah, pajama pants and sneakers and stuff. Yep, yep. Yeah, funny.